Hey guys, what's up? My name is Renee Rapp, and this is what I'm listening to. Uh, my music taste is really thoughtful writing. Ooh, my music taste in three songs is probably The Carpenters, Close to You, um, or They Long to Be, and then um, Frank Ocean, There Will Be Tears, and uh, Jasmine Sullivan, In Love with Another Man. It's, I mean, it's kind of the same. It's changed in the sense that like, I, when I was in high school, I pretty much only listened to like rap music and like trap stuff. And now I've like branched out, um, just being like a pop writer. I listen to more country music now. Um, and I hated country music growing up because where I grew up in the States, um, the like culture around country music was just like very like hateful. Um, Cause I lived really deep South and um, now I'm, I'm obsessed with it and I love it and I think it's some of like the best writing in the business. I listen to pop music now. I never used to listen to pop music and now I listen to like super pop music. Oh my God, the song that has most impacted my life. It's probably Faithfully by Journey. The most recent song I downloaded is a Chapel Roan song and it's Naked in Manhattan and I love it so much, so much. I think it's so cute, and I think she's the fucking cutest. Oh, it's so good. Mm, I had the, I had the like, now that's what I call music stuff, like those CDs, like Top 40 and stuff like that. Um, but I didn't, I didn't purchase it because I didn't have money as a child, <laughs> and I don't think I've ever like purchased it. Well, no, I take that back. I go, I thrift a lot of old vinyls. I thrift a lot of old vinyls, and I recently got an old heart vinyl, the Dreamboat Annie. So that's a good one. I don't know. Mine aren't really that interesting. Mine are just like four things. Like I make playlists for like parties or things like that. Like. So I guess my most interesting is like for my friend's like 26th birthday, it was just like Yaya's 26th ass shake or something. <sighs> I share a lot of music with my brother. We have um, different taste in music. Like he's listening to stuff constantly that I don't think that I would like listen to on repeat. However, I really respect his music taste and I think that the songs he likes are um, really sick. So we share a lot of music with each other. And he once sent me a song that's called Kissing Girls. I forget who it's by, but it's basically like this boy who like, I guess sing to some like bisexual girl or whatever. And when my brother sent it to me, we'd like never talked about like anything like gay at all. And I listened to the song and I literally cried. I was like, this is so cute. And it just was lovely. Yeah. Three to five songs that I would like to put you on. Um, Molasses by Hayes Coyote. I, don't, I, I never know if I'm pronouncing it right. I simply am not sure. Um, definitely Molasses, it's so good. Um, and it's really, really musical. I would say you should be put on to Hot To Go. Chapel Run. I'm, a, I'm really in that phase right now. That's also like pop music you can like, Fuck do, you know what I mean? That's rare, that's rare. Um, tried it and it was great. Oh, Broken Hearted Girl, Beyonce. We were just listening to that the other day and somebody was like, this is like a deep cut to that. And I was like, shut up. I was like, who the fuck doesn't know about this song? And then it made me mad because I was like, if anybody doesn't know about this song, that would piss me off. And I also, I've always loved, Aaron Allen Kane has a song called Have Mercy. And it's just really amazing, like vocal acrobatics. Um, like anything, Yeba, 